response times. This is the KUSI News at 5. Welcome to the KUSI News at 5. I'm Sandra Moss. And I'm Alan Denton. Thanks for joining us. It's a big night. This is the KUSI News at 6. Good evening, I'm Sandra Moss. And I'm Alan Denton. Thanks. For Breaking news, a dark day for San Diego police as an officer is killed in the line of duty. Another fighting for his life after coming under attack. We're live with the details. And officers are going door to door at the scene of the attack as residents are told to shelter in place while they search for additional suspects. Hillary Clinton's big night. We have a full recap of the historic event at the Democratic National Convention. CBS News 8 this morning at 430 starts now. First in breaking news, you're watching CBS News 8 this morning. Breaking news, we begin with trash. Second off. CBS News 8 awarded the Emmy for evening newscast. Thank you for making us San Diego's most watched news. Now, your microclimate forecast. That humidity will not. You're watching CW6 News in the morning. And good morning, good to see you. It is Tuesday, August the 9th. This is Good Morning San Diego. Hi, good morning. How's it going? Happy Saturday. on good day. Most families are in a back to school routine. Part of that includes packing the lunch. Yes, it does. The five things experts say parents should not let their kids eat at school. Plus, the weekend still feels like summer, but eventually fall will take over. Pages coming Monday on Good Day. You're watching the Valley's News Leader with Sheree Johnson, Katie Bower, and John Creech. This is 8 News Now. For nearly two weeks, dozens now, live, this is 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. All right, so you said it was nice. Yeah. Local news that matters. This is WTWO News at 11. Over time, we've lost. This is local news that matters. You're watching WAWB News at Noon. A theft suspect in Terre Haute and some of his crime caught on tape. See if you recognize him. Obviously the worst, hopeful in prayers that, um, that everything was okay. Playground terror. Two students and a teacher shot on a school playground. Find out who police say is behind those shootings. Also, it's a celebration. Feel free to reach for another cup of joe. Well, good afternoon to you, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dana Winkleplek. The Terre Haute Police Department needs the public's help identifying a theft suspect. It is our... Local news that matters. With Dana Winkleplek and meteorologist Robin King, you're watching WAWV News at Noon. And now, your WAWV forecast first. Good afternoon, everyone. Been one of those days. Again, looked like rain, but didn't rain most of the day, but we did get a little bit out there. Here's what it looks like as we take you up into Terre Haute with our Skywatch Network Cover One cam. That's on the south side of town. You can see traffic moving along fine. Some breaks in the news starts now. This is local news that matters. You're watching WAWV Live at 5. I try to park in this parking lot that I normally don't get to, so I have like a 10, 15 minute walk. Indiana State University students exercise their patience while construction on campus uses valuable parking space. Good day and thanks for joining us on Live at 5 for this Thursday. I'm Tom McClanahan. You know, park... Local news that matters. 
with Tom McClanahan and Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. You're watching WAWB Live at 5. Intravisión presenta Las Vegas is a city with nearly 5,000 squatters living in homes illegally. For some neighborhoods, it's become a nightmare with thefts, vandalism, and some fires. It's like a squatter's paradise. Let us know when you see squatters. Email squatterspotters at ktnv.com. We can't get them out, so they feel like that they have the right to be there. To learn about your rights when dealing with squatters, go to ktnv.com and click on Squatter Spotters under the News tab. Let's solve the squatter issue together and take back our neighborhoods. Title Max makes Chopper 13 brings you breaking news fast and first. First on the scene over this crash. Dramatic video. On air, online, and the Action News app. First. First. Get breaking news fast and first with Chopper 13, only from 13 Action News. The WIDW has been awarded the Harlem Region Emmy Award for Best Weekend Newscast. Coming up on 13 News this morning, intense heat is in is fueling a massive wildfire in California that's burned over 20,000 acres so far. Details and this amazing footage coming up, plus this. The head of the DNC announced that she's stepping down just hours ahead of the convention. I'm Jamie Yukas in Philadelphia with the latest. We're watching 13 News this morning with Amanda Lenham and Chris Fisher. 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Good morning to you. Welcome into 13 News this morning. I just finished a massive yawn. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's how you feel. It is Monday morning. It's 5 a.m. Feel better? Like Waking up with Northeast Kansas's most watched news team. 13 News this morning with Chris Fisher, Amanda Landum, and Doug Myers. Getting you up to speed for the start of your day. This is your 13 weather forecast with Doug Myers. All right, 511 looking outside or looking at our cap. You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Welcome back. It's 517, a movie about the dangers of social. Arvada police confirm a person was struck by lightning. The latest on that and the storms that hit the metro area coming up in 30 seconds on Fox 31 Denver News at night. of strong storms hitting Colorado this evening, bringing with it dangerous lightning. We'll show you where it hit. Despite delegate drama, the GOP makes it official. I'm so proud to be your nominee. And how the Trump campaign is handling allegations his wife may have plagiarized her speech. And more delays for the train to the plane. Tonight, RTD defends its record. Why it says those problems are mostly minor. Fox 31 Denver, news at 9. 
Take a look at this lightning, a big danger that came with tonight's storm as it rolled over the Denver metro area, hitting a lot of us here tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Maris Sarah Brady. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. Heavy rain caused flooding around the metro just over the last couple of hours, but it was the lateral attracting the latest now and more on that lightning strike from earlier. Mark? Yeah, we've uh, taken the radar back actually to that 530 to 6 o'clock through the day tomorrow. We'll let you know when the heat will finally relax coming up in Pit Point weather. Get breaking news first with a Fox 31 Denver app. Download it today and turn on push alerts to get instant updates on the biggest stories. It's free for iPhone and Android. Just search KDVR in the App Store or Google Play. The Fox, the Fox 31 Denver problem solvers investigate how these truckers are getting away with leaving drivers' windshields broken. Thursday at 9. Cleveland. 97 a.m. starts right now. This is 9 News. We start in Thornton with some breaking news. We've been following a house fire this morning. It was burning at 89th. See blue, think news. Gary Shapiro on 9 News. This Now at 10, Kansas Democrats head east. We spoke to one about how she's getting ready for her second convention. Plus, one family is looking forward to completing a 400-mile bike ride in Iowa. Hear why it's so important for them to be together. KSNT News at 10 starts now. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. I'm Caroline Sweeney. We'll get to those stories in just a minute. But when you want to know what's happened new overnight, stay with KSNT News. We work throughout the night to bring you the most up-to-date stories and breaking news. And I'm always tracking the latest weather conditions so you can plan your day. Join us tomorrow morning at 5. The 2000. Welcome back to KSNT. Anthony Keith, only on News Channel 5. From the capital of Wyoming, this is News Channel 5, News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It's 5.30 now on your Friday morning. I'm Brittany Carter. And I'm meteorologist Oliver Smith. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. And it's... Time now for your exclusive forecast. Good morning, everybody. Cloudy and warm. That's basically... News Channel 5 Sports. Welcome into sports. There's nothing like a hot cup of joe and some rodeo to get your morning. Whitney, weather on CBS4. This is the news. Live from Colorado's News Channel, this is CBS4 Morning News. Welcome to the CBS4 Morning News at 4.30. This is the news. It is already Wednesday, July 20th. I'm Britt Marino. Thanks for joining us this morning. Let's get right... Near Larksburg and Grand Junction. Collins. Wherever news happens, CBS 4. This is the news. $5 Sonic. Only on KCBA Fox 35. KCRA 3 News at 10 on My 58 starts right now. Rapidly changing developments in the desperate search for a missing Vallejo teen. Tonight, that search is now centered on a small coastal town. New information led search and rescue crews to the area around the Sonoma County town of Jenner. KCRA 3's Tom Miller joins us live from Jenner tonight. So, Tom, how's the search going? Three, two, one. Fox 2 News at 7 on KTVU Plus starts now. Mm. Oh, good day. Good day, good day, good day. Live from across Northern California, this is Good Day.
It is a good day. Happy Saturday to you. Beautiful shot of downtown Sacramento, the Tower Bridge. You can see Rayleigh Field as well out in the distance. It's going to be a fabulous day, but a warm one for your Memorial Weekend. Yes, a lot of elementary schools have promoted. High schools have yes. graduated. Now call Mike and Molly, weeknights at 530 on CW31. Starting at 3 on Fox 45. No late weather, only on Fox 45 News at 10. This is Fox 45 News in the morning. An armed robbery under investigation right now. The latest details coming up next. And this morning, Hillary Clinton is waking up as the first female presidential nominee of a major party coming up. A preview of what President Obama is expected to talk about tonight at the DNC. And it's not just politics this morning. Many people are talking about Michelle Obama's DNC dress, the designer behind the creation and what makes it so special coming up. Happy Wednesday, I'm Mike Joyce and we're looking at a cool morning. I use that in quotes because only some of us are feeling cool. Others are already warm and we are all getting the West. Weather well, traffic every 10 minutes. Breaking now, a hotel clerk is robbed at gunpoint. It happened at the travel lodge in the 7500 block of Poe Avenue. Right now, police are searching for two suspects. Fox 45. You're watching Fox 45 News in the morning. The Skycam Report is brought to you by Kettering Cancer Care at Kettering Health Network. For live streaming video from the Kettering Network Skycams, go to fox45now.com and click on weather. Now at 6, just four days away from the RNC, why today could be the last chance for delegates to stop Trump in his tracks. And LeBron has people talking this morning. The political statement he and other NBA players are making and they made during the ESPYs awards last night. But let's go over to the live desk with Karina Paisa. Yeah, some people waking up to storm damage and also power outages, Jackie. Thousands in the dark right this is MeTV, Des Moines' home for memorable entertainment television. This is MeTV, Des Moines. Stay tuned. Sci-Fi Saturday Night continues with Spanguli at 10. You're watching KCCI 8 News at 9 on MeTV. We come up over the hill and there's just chaos. The state's biggest bike night ends with a deadly crash. Witnesses describe the chaotic aftermath. Donald Trump is a good man, and he will make a great president of this nation. The Trump beep stakes come to a close. Why Governor Mike Pence wants to be the billionaire's right-hand man. And crowds in Turkey stand up in unity a day after a deadly coup attempt where officials are pointing the blame. Good evening. An Urbandale man is dead, and a woman is in the hospital after a motorcycle crash. It happened. I'll get here. This is KCCI 8 News at 9 on MeTV. Sunday on Close Up. Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell discusses the success and addresses concerns about the Affordable Care Act. It's KCCI 8 News Close Up. Sundays after Face the Nation on KCCI. The most watched news in central Iowa. This is Iowa's news leader. This is KCCI 8 News at 9 on MeTV. Saturday plans to catch them all were delayed. You're watching Local 5 News at 10 in HD. We are Iowa's most accurate weather team. And we start with your forecast first. Good evening and welcome everybody. Well, it is quiet right now across the state of Iowa and temperatures are coming on down. We're already in the 70s, but things are not quiet to our north or to our northwest. These storms are time it all out for you coming up in your full forecast. Oh, he left doing what he loved doing and he always would say if he had a way to go, it would be on the field and I feel like God honored his request. The sister of a fallen football player shares memories about the young man known as the tackle machine. Why she says losing her brother feels a lot like losing a son. Plus another deadly crash on Iowa's roads. Why the Iowa State Patrol says the crash could have been prevented. And a deadly coup attempt comes to an end. Now a defiant Turkish president is calling on the United States. Local 5 News at 10 in HD starts now. We are Iowa. I'm Ashley Crosco. Thanks for tuning in to Local 5 News. One person is dead and another injured in a crowd. Only on weareiowa.com. 
I'm Sabrina Ahmed. Join me as we head to Cleveland for the Republican National Convention. I'll be bringing you stories every day that are most important to you, talking to delegates from your home state. Convention coverage is sponsored by Hot Springs Bars and Endless Pools Fitness Systems. We are NBC Nebraska. Your live local 10 o'clock news starts now. Hundreds gather for a good time and a good cause. North Platte rallies to support a local woman battling a rare disease. Plus, fire consumes a, woman a woman's house and garage as neighbors and first responders rush to help. And after a deadly ambush killed three policemen in Baton Rouge, we take a look at how safe officers feel right here in Nebraska. That's your top story on NBC Nebraska. Good evening, I'm Mary Roberts. Beatrice Reyna has the night off. New details. Around 100 golfers teed off. We are NBC Nebraska. Your live local 10 o'clock news starts now. A mountain lion is shot and killed in a Garing neighborhood. The elderly should take extra precautions when it's so hot outside. And Governor Ricketts talks about white clay and alcohol sales. It's our top story on NBC Nebraska Scotts Bluff. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Adam Uhernick. The problem stemming from alcohol sales and Let's get a first check of the weather now, and meteorologist Rusty Dawkins joins us from the Weather Center. Rusty. We're still on the very, very edge of a... NBC Nebraska, committed to the fan handle. Capturing the essence of what makes Scott's Bluff unique from now into the future. We are NBC Nebraska. Your station, our communities, committed to the fan handle. Lester Holt from NBC Nightly News. Whether you live in New York City or a small town in Nebraska, you deserve a local TV station that's dedicated to great journalism and serving your community. Congrats, NBC Nebraska. We're glad to see you on the air in Scottsbluff. NBC Nebraska, committed to the fan handle. A memorial. NTV, Central and Western Nebraska's most watched news. This is Good Morning Nebraska. Police officers dead and more injured. We're live. NTV, where your news comes first. With Marilyn Barnett and Tim Wright Weather. This is Good Morning Nebraska Sunrise Edition. Time for Weather on the Ones with Tim Wright, certified by the American Meteorological Society for Excellence in Weather Forecasting. Well, welcome back here on this Monday morning. It's a uh, Now, from Toledo's news leader, this is WTOL 11, breaking news alert. We're following breaking news for you tonight. Police are responding to a deadly shooting in central Toledo. Now this you know in our first alert forecast. From Toledo's news leader, this is your first alert weather forecast. It is stuffy out there tonight. We're Big day tomorrow at Highland Meadows. We're live from the Marathon Classic. La Plant Road in Moncova Township closed. I'll tell you how long and how to get around it. A few storms ahead and then a cooler, comfortable weekend. Details in your forecast tomorrow morning. M Fighters, today at 5, 13 ABC Action News. Two people were shot. Uh, one man's deceased. Breaking news overnight, as you heard from police, one man is dead, another rush to the hospital. We've got the latest from detectives. Fire ripped through a structure behind one local high school. We'll tell you what we know about what started it. It's more than a golf tournament. It always is teeing off for a huge event out in Sylvania. Thousands expected to flock to the Marathon Classic today. From WTVG Toledo, 
This is 13 ABC Action News Good Morning with Jeff Smith and Sasha Bray. There's a lot to bring folks out to the Marathon Classic. We'll tell you about two biggies in just a little bit. Thanks so much for being here. And we want to start out by getting you a check of your forecast. We have Ross Ellett, who is in. Right now he's out. He's got the weather and the weather for us. Good morning, Ross. Well, good morning. It's a very warm, very humid start to the day. Temperatures right now. 13 ABC first warning weather with meteorologist Ross Ellert. And a good Wednesday morning. It's already 73 degrees. That's the coolest that we've been all morning long with the humid. V36 is now KTVU Plus, the power of two. KTVU Fox 2 News, Bill Martin. Complete Bay Area weather coverage. KTVU Fox 2 News, Frank Somerville. Complete Bay Area coverage. KTVU Fox 2, the Bay Area's number one news station, is now even bigger. More Bay Area coverage. Our top story tonight, thousands have... More of the award-winning news team you trust. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Kiva Arnold. More of why you watch KTVU. So much more, we added another channel. KTVU Fox 2 and KTVU Plus, the power of two. TV 36 is now KTVU Plus, the power of two. Bang Theory, weekdays at 7 on CW 13. You're watching KDSM Fox 17 Des Moines today. You're watching KDSM Fox 17 Des Moines. You're watching me TV. Casting nationwide in Chicago. You're watching KIIT Fox North Platte. You're watching NBC Nebraska. Good morning at 726 in local news this morning on the heels of the latest officer involved shooting former LPD police chief Tom Casty says thanks for watching K3 KCDO TV you are watching Colorado Public Television 12 From the WHIO Broadcast Center, in high definition, this is News Center 7. Good morning. Once again, a hot and muggy start to the day, and only going up from there. Two News at 11 starts now. History is made as day two of the Democratic National Convention finally wraps up in Philadelphia tonight. Hillary Clinton becoming the first woman nominated by a major party for president of the United States. Yeah, thanks for staying up late with us. Not everyone. Wake up with two news today on Dayton CW. Weekday mornings from 7 to 9. From the moment the sun rises, we are working for you with Jamie Jarosik Storm Team 2 forecast. Plus time saver traffic. What you can expect on your morning commute. Your first look at the day's top stories. Two news today on Dayton CW tomorrow morning beginning at 7 a.m. A lot goes leading the way. This is the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast with Patrice Dayton. Rondrell Moore, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orford, and Rick Semler Sports. This is News 10 Nightwatch. Good evening to you and welcome to News 10 Nightwatch. You're watching WSIU Carbondale, WUSI Omni. You're watching WITF TV, Harrisburg.
Hello.